Ah, so we've got another elusive target incoming. The food critic. I remember you. So I guess he must be looking to die again. Well, we can grant him that wish in a little over four hours. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Infinite Omega with me, Black Deathe, coming at you today with elusive target number 12, the food critic. We haven't seen a return of this guy since the first Hitman, so let's refresh our memory on what he's all about. Good evening, 47. Your target is Wen Tsai, the highly influential Southeast Asian food critic. He is notorious for his sadistic attention to detail and relentless criticism of the smallest errors. The client is the partner of a Singaporean chef driven to suicide by the target's cruel response to a bottle of over-chilled ice water. We have learned that the target will be at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok, where he plans to review that hotel's award-winning cuisine. Complicating matters, the target has recently retained a private security team in response to his increasing notoriety. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this guy, Wen Sai, the food critic who doesn't eat or move or do much of anything, really. Good on you for digging this one up for us, I.O. Nah, I guess it won't be so bad, because I've actually got a plan. Well, actually, I've got two. Since we have to start somewhere, though, we'll begin with method one. In order to kill this guy, all we're going to need is a silenced pistol like the Silver Baller, as well as the ICA Remote Taser. Now, for those of you that don't know, elusive targets are a limited time available, one shot only mission type. Once you kill your target, you are locked in, and you can no longer restart or replan. If you do happen to get yourself killed, this will result in mission failure, and you won't be able to play again. That said, if you follow this guide, you should have no problems at all. As always, if you do find this video helpful or enjoyable, please leave a like down below, and if you haven't already, do subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Good evening, 47. Our on-site intelligence has confirmed that the target has arrived at the restaurant and that his security team has already swept the area. Good hunting. Why, thank you, Diana. So, from the get-go, we're going to head directly into the hotel and make our way straight to the back, where we will head up the stairs until we reach the third floor. Now, we want to make our way out onto the roof, but before we step through the door, make sure to take care of the camera above with your silenced pistol. Once that's taken care of, head to your right. You should see these two guards just as they're about to make their way to the other side of the roof. God damn it. If you've been keeping up with the timing in this video, they should just be stopping and looking over the edge. Slip past them and make your way over to this window. Hop in and grab this propane flask. Now, right back out the same window, retracing your path. Slipping past the guards one more time. If you move quick enough, you'll have ample time to slip past them in both directions before they continue on their patrol. Now, head back inside and down to the second floor, cutting through the lounge area. Our target is over in this corner here, sitting at the table. Head down the stairs to the midpoint landing. When standing near this plant, aim and toss the propane flask against this dividing wall. Now, equip your remote taser. While continuing to aim in the same direction, toss it up there with the propane. The flask and taser should now be next to the target. Once it's clear, while keeping a safe distance, use your remote to trigger the taser, which will detonate the propane flask, killing our target. As long as the guards are back in their default positions and no one else is near the target at the time, you will have just executed a nice controlled demolition of the food critic. Now all that's left to do is make your way to an exit. Same what? So there you go, that was method number one, which I think you'll agree was incredibly easy. The only real hurdle is having the micro taser unlocked, which you can easily get just by hitting level 2 mastery in Berlin. And as you can see, we did that silent assassin suit only in just 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Now on to method number 2. For this method, the only thing you'll actually need to bring along is some lethal poison. With that in hand, let's jump in and do it. Good evening, 47. Our on-site intelligence has confirmed that the target has arrived... Now, unlike method one, this is anything but what you'd call a quick method. It's actually quite the opposite. However, it is very easy to pull off. So, just like last time, we're going to begin by making our way to the back of the hotel. However, this time, we'll be heading downstairs. This is a trespassing zone, and you'll want to watch out for the two hotel staff members that are in the area. Once through the door, head down the steps and duck into the pantry room on your right. Timing-wise, both staff members should have their backs turned as you pass through. Now, you're going to want to open the doors to the kitchen here to initiate the chef talking about Jordan Cross's cake, after which he'll usually prepare something at the counter for a few moments, then he'll wander away. Take your time here. You really don't need to rush. Just be ready. You want to make sure that no chefs are looking in your direction, 
There's also a waiter who moves to and from the kitchen, so when he's gone and no chefs are looking, you'll have a nice opening to slip in and poison the cake sitting right here on the counter. Once that's done, quickly return to the pantry. We can now leave the area, but first make sure the hotel staff are again facing in the other direction. When I said before the target never eats anything, strictly speaking, that's not totally true. He doesn't eat anything at his table, but eventually he will come to the kitchen and sample the cake. However, just like that dickhead elusive target in Paris, the chef, this can take a while. I'll speed this up to spare you the pain of waiting around, only slowing down on occasion to showcase what a douche this guy is. So, would you call this restaurant a great restaurant, my friend? Yes, sir, Mr. Wynn. Why? It has three Ooh. stars in that famous guide, sir. That's your answer. Yeah. Because your restaurant gets a favorable review in a guide written by some insufferable European. You think it's any good? Well, I'm sure you'd prefer to appeal to lower upper middle class holiday makers who think that a mention in that rag is the sign of a good restaurant. Well, most people seem to be. I am not most people, you blithering fool, and I tell you that for nothing. In my experience, restaurants that are so insecure that they need to boast about their reviews tend to have something to hide. Well, we're about to find out all your dirty little secrets. Um, I... I... Suppose so, sir. You claim this to be a peeler. I call it an affront. An affront, I say. I can barely bring myself to look at this. God, the reek. The filthy blend of shades. I... I'm quite faint, anyway. Hey, you, over here. Yes, sir? Show me to the kitchen. This will not be allowed to stand. Um, again? Uh, uh, yes, um, maybe I, I should just call down and let him know you're coming? Yes, again. Again! Take me there now. Yes, sir, Mr. Wen. Follow me. Okay, finally. He said he wants to visit the kitchen. This is good. That's exactly where we want him to go. If you wanted, you could go wait by an exit at this point and just leave when the objective completes. But I'm gonna follow him. We've been on the journey this long together. We're going to see it through to his end. This is entirely what I expected. Though perhaps slightly more scurrying insects, which I note are not from Nongkai. This is entirely too easy. Sadly, we've been rather unlucky this time around. This can happen. There seems to be a bit of randomness involved as to whether or not he'll try the cake on one visit or another. But don't worry, I'll spare you more of the pain and speed things up again. These clams are... I shan't say what they look like, but suffice to say, I'd expect to see such things in Bangkok. Filth! By the way, while my dining experience is being ruined... I'm sorry, Mr. Wen. And well, you should be. There is the most terribly acrid stench in the air. T tile cleaner or some such. Are, are you wearing cologne? Well, well my girlfriend's a, a perfumier, and, and she, um... Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utterly cack all over it. Is that it? I assure you, sir, I, I never thought I... I can barely breathe, you beast. I shall have to recalibrate my entire experiential baseline. But don't you think for one moment that your little trick will work? Nobody fools Wen Tsai. You shan't conceal this mediocre experience beneath the reek of tile cleaner.
consomme and sweetbreads? No, not at all. Only a hack must resort to such things. <laughs> Anyway, do I really have to repeat everything? No, I don't actually taste the food. I experience it. Don't you understand? It's vulgar to eat. I see, sir, Mr. Wen. If I only wanted to taste the food, I might as well have ordered takeout. That way, I might have spared myself the tacky decor. Yes, sir. I mean, what is this, anyway? This looks... It looks like some horrid pastiche, some nasty little brothel. No. That would be an insult to nasty little brothels. Does that mean I, I should r remove the food? My god, man. Is your ineptitude complete? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Wen. Oh, leave it. Believe me, if there was any way of judging the, and I use the term very lightly, merits of the cuisine without actually setting foot in this place, believe me, I would. Yes, sir, Mr. Wen. not be allowed to stand okay he's headed back to the kitchen once again hopefully we have some better luck with round two and he actually eats the cake lay bare your secrets i will discover that you are hollow that your recipes are rote and your skills are nothing but pale imitation I am terribly sorry to interrupt, Chef Bernard, but may I introduce you to the famous... Hey, what did I tell you about bringing people down here? This is a place of creation and contemplation. Can't work with all manner of... of amateurs wandering the place. This is the food critic Wen Tsai, sir. Yeah, of course, and I'm his holiness. Now, get out of my kitchen, you hear me? I am Wen Tsai. So thrilled to make your acquaintance. Jesus, Mr. Wen... Well, I'm not wearing my glasses today. Oh, that would certainly explain it. Only a blind man could perpetrate such a travesty. <laughs> Yo, I've heard about you. Now I see what they mean. If my incompetent staff had thought to let me know you were coming, I, I would have arranged a special presentation. Oh, my dear Chef Bernard, I have seen more than enough already. Words cannot describe how I feel about your kitchen. Ah, uh, yes. Perhaps you might care to experience my famous prawn soup? No, I shall not be bought like some cheap travel blogger. I have standards. And you, Chef Bernard, are an offense to them all. I shall return to my table and await your next assault upon my senses. What about a uh, spicy beef salad or some fresh insect nymphs from Nongkai? No? Nope. Oh, shit. I hope he chokes on that little pie of his. How's the fish? Is it good to go? Not in a place like this, but it's service in gears. My lord, a true experience at last. Target eliminated. Command, the money has been wired to your account. Command, do you copy? Okay, finally. The target's down. True to my warning at the beginning, this is definitely not a quick method, but it will get you there in the end. Now, all that's left for us to do is escape. Once again, we completed the target Silent Assassin suit only, though this time it did take us over 10 times longer than Method 1 with the time clocking in at 23 minutes and 33 seconds. Also, if this was your 12th elusive target completed, you'll have unlocked the Undying suit. So there you go, that's been two simple and easy Silent Assassin suit only methods of killing elusive target number 12, the food critic. I recommend method number 1, as it's significantly faster but you could make the argument that Method 2 involves a little less risk, so ultimately, it's up to you. 
Either way, I think that should just about do it. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please leave a like down below as well as comment on it, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, do subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of any videos in the future. Anyway, that's enough for now. This is Infinite Omega. I've been Black Deatha, and this was Elusive Target, number 12. Killed easily, a couple of different ways. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. You guys have yourselves an amazing day. Goodbye.